So in this lesson, we're going to address one of the uh, most common questions I get from um, entrepreneurs, whether they're a startup or a uh, seasoned business. Uh, the question arises of how do I pay myself? And it's an important question because the reason you get into business isn't for the business to make a lot of money. It's for you to be paid from the business and paid a lot of money from the business, if you will. So let me start off by saying this. Your business, as my coach has, has, has taught us, your business is a vehicle to get you to your personal destinations so you can enjoy it. So case in point, if you were doing a road trip across the country, you know, you loaded up the family, you drove, let's say, from, you know, Ohio to California and you get to California and you never get out the car to actually enjoy the sights, the food, the people. You just stayed in the car the entire time. And then you drove back. That's how a lot of individuals are functioning within their businesses. They're in their businesses, but they're working in their businesses, but they're not reaping any personal benefit from the business. And that's not why we got into business. We got into business for you to be paid. And that should be one of the, uh, if not the primary factor in understanding your business financial. So let's start there. So I was recently working with one of my students who's a hairstylist and, um, just open up a, a new shop and I asked them, I said, OK, so, uh, man, how are things going? They were telling me about their numbers and how many hits they've seen over the past 30 days. And I asked them, I said, so how do you pay yourself? And they said, I don't know. I just, you know, I, I, I cut my heads. I do my I do my heads with my clients and, you know, I get paid and I pay my bills. I said, interesting. I said, well, uh, let me help you out here. And this is the lesson that I shared with him. I asked him first, I said, first and foremost, how much money do you need to make? And he said, well, for the business or uh, for the business, I need to. I said, no, no, no. How much money do you personally need to make? This is mistake number one and the biggest mistake most entrepreneurs make when they're trying to determine, um, you know, how much money they need to make from their business. Your focus, your primary focus should not be. Hey, I want a business that does six figures or 50,000 or a million or eight figures. The first question should be, how much money do I need to make to live personally? And then we can back into the other numbers and we'll show you how. So I asked my student, I said, um, how much money do you need to make per month? He originally said, well, I need to make thirty seven hundred dollars per month. And, I, and we start backing into those numbers and then come to find out that that is what he needs to make personally, but also too what he below, he thought he needed to make to keep the business open. I said, no, 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 my friend. How much money do you need to make? Come, He said, well, personally, for my household, not including the business, I need to make $2,700 a month. Okay, great. $2,700 a month times 12. It's okay. So your goal this year is to make 32,400 of personal income. He said, yeah. I said, great. So let me show you what the business needs to do to be able to do that. So we take that 32, four, we come over here. Most startup businesses are going to be in this range of zero to 250 K um, of income, but that's business income. You notice there's an owner's compensation right here, which says 50%, which means that of the income or the real revenue, the top line revenue that the business brings in, the owner in a business that's doing about zero to 250,000 should be making about 50% of whatever this number is. So we come back here, we divide this number by the 0.5, and we get 64.8. Okay. When I showed this to my student, his eyes kind of opened up like, oh, I need to do 64.8. I said, yeah. So he was averaging, I think, uh, $40 a head per student, per client, I should say. So he said, yeah. So if I do, you know, uh, four clients a day, uh, I'm sorry, five clients a day at $40 a head is 200 bucks times 20 working days is $4,000. Well, that $4,000 times 12 months 
is $48,000. Well, he thought that's all he needed to do. Well, he now realizes that that is not going to get him close to his goals because at $4,000 of top line revenue, he's only going to see about 24000 of that because you have to remember as you're making money, you're going to have, if you're a healthy business, ideally about 5% set aside for profits. That's cash profits, cash on hand, savings. That is profit that you don't touch. Your owner's compensation is 50%. You got to pay the tax man. And in addition to that, you're going to have to pay operating expenses. So your personal expenses and your operating expenses for your business should be completely separate and different from each other. So let's go back here. We back into these numbers again. We said, what was it? 62.4 was what we calculated he needed to make. Let's just make sure here. So we said 2,700 times 12 divided by 0.5. 64.8 is how much he needed, he needed to make. Well, if he needs to make 64.8, divide that by 12, 12 months, he needs to make about 5,400 a month. Okay. Now, if he needs to make 5,400 a month and he's averaging about $40 per head, let's look at that. That means divide that by 40. That means he needs to see about 135 clients per month. Per week, divide that by four. He needs to see about 33 per week. And if we divide that by five, he needs to see roughly seven clients per day. So I asked him, I said, so are you in a position? Do you have the energy to see seven clients a day? And he said, wow, I am getting a little older. I don't know if this is going to be um, the best thing, um, but those are your numbers and those are the realistic numbers. OK, so now he understands his numbers. He understands his business. He understands what he needs to be able to do to reach that number to make the thirty two thousand. So it's not just, hey, I'm going to cut enough heads to make thirty two thousand for the business. No, you have to cut enough heads to cover your taxes, your uh, uh, monthly expenses, your profit. And your, opera, and, 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 and your operating expense, as well as being able to pay yourself. This is where a lot of entrepreneurs drop the ball. So that's how you pay yourself. Then after we have these numbers established, it's easy. Um, we then just every month that money comes in, we're able to pay uh, uh, our clients directly from there. So if I was to show you another example here, we set our clients up like this. So let's say client you had um that that uh first uh, uh a week of the month or whatever the case may be you had um twenty two hundred dollars come in well then we get them set up so they understand exactly that so in this case we said that hey his profit needed to be five taxes needed to be 15 owner's comp is 50 and operating expenses 30. So if you had twenty two hundred dollars come in for that pay period, we know that one ten goes to savings for profit. Three thirty is set aside for taxes. Eleven hundred is set aside for operating uh, for owner's compensation. And you have six hundred and sixty dollars to operate your business. So you are no longer guessing what you need to do. You know exactly what you need to do. And now you're able to make solid decisions with your business, because now when we back into that number again, again, that twenty seven hundred times 12 divided by you know 0.5 that's 68 64 8 number now let's look at your operating expense so we know that that needs to come in a healthy business needs to come in around 30 percent well what's 30 percent of that number 19.4 Divided by 12 months tells me that he needs to be able to run his business for $1,620 a month. Anything above that number means that he's overspending and it's not a healthy business. So, group, that is how you determine how much you pay yourself. You start off with not how much is the business making. You start off with how much do I want to make? And then you back into that number and you go from there.
And then now you can make those correct adjustments. All right. Let me know if you have any questions.